accused of being a traitor and suddenly being picked up. Uh, these Maldivian women come from nowhere and they say that uh, Namina Ryan is selling secrets uh, to Pakistan. I was really bursting out with uh, anger. What, what the hell is happening? Slowly and steadily I understood that there is a sabotage. Who could be interested in this? I never thought foreign countries will be interested. I was just thinking somebody is out of jealousy joining hands because this happened immediately after the successful flight of PSLV-3. Mm. That is the first flight with mm. the liquid rocket. But I never thought that there is a foreign hand involved in this. I picked up uh, some information saying that uh, President uh, of USA, at that time he was the uh, Senators Committee Chairman. Now he has asked for the ISRO-Russian contract should be uh, broken or should be made null and void. I said, what could be his interest? Why? Then he said, it is missile. I think cryogenic missiles never exist in the world. Hmm. Not even, even today, there is no cryogenic missile available. Hmm. But I started looking at information, additional information, which also says that they paid additional money to Russia for the MIR station. Hmm. Now, if they need $100 million, $400 million is paid. Cryogenic engines that India was buying from Russia, that deal is what picked up the the, uh, the American uh, antenna went up in that right. and they wanted to stop that. Yeah, they didn't want this to go through. That news was broken to me by the Russians saying that America is not interested in ourselves running this contract. So they want us to break it and they don't want technology to be transferred. That was ringing some bell in my mind because prior to ourselves awarding the contract to the Russians, Americans were also a competitor. They were also quoting prices. Only thing is their prices were too high. Hmm. And Russian price was so low. Hmm. So we chose them. But when the Americans were trying to stop this, I was just thinking what could be their interest. You know, easily you can connect things together. That time itself I started working in my mind what we should do next step. This is post Pokhran. That's why there were the sanctions on us. There could be their policy. Pulse, See, I'll okay. tell you, frankly, in my opinion, no nation is interested in the welfare of another nation. So, sir, at this time, it is Ronald Reagan who is the president. And in India, it is Narsimha Rao when all this is happening. Yes, Narsimha Rao. Right? Hmm. When, when this whole thing, 94, that we are talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. You get arrested and you are subjected to torture. What did they want you to say? That, yes, I have transferred it to Pakistan. No, they wanted me to say many things. I have transferred this to Pakistan, I have transferred this to North Korea, I have transferred this to that route, this route and all. But that aim is not that. Aim is very interesting. Aim is they want to remove you from the scene. Now the question is, whatever is their aim, they can't execute it themselves. It is somebody else who executed for them. Who? That somebody, ah, exactly, this is the question, who? It has to be an Indian. Now, they have identified about 18 people who are possibly have played a role in this. And that case is on. It will it will continue. Since 94? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1994, this started. 96 itself, it was proved by CBA as a false case. 98, Supreme Court came with a seal that it is a false case. My case is over. I should have retired from that part of it then that time itself but from 98 till 2018 20 years i was fighting to bring those people to books even now if you really watch the legal journals my case is being quoted left and right in many cases wherever the police uh, brutality and things like that come hmm. this case will be quoted click here to watch the full episode